There's a lot of programs now in schools, right, in universities, but also I think now in New York and elementary schools, they're teaching things like resilience and creativity and things like that. It, is education an enabler of innovation or is it a hindrance? I look at it sometimes as uh, you have two pieces of wood, you're rubbing it together, you want to you form a fire. So your, your uh, university would say, uh, okay, well, let's, let's buy the kindling wood and the paper, put it around the two pieces of wood being rubbed together. Some more um, out-of-the-box universities would say, well, let's, let's dose it in lighter fluid. You know, that'll really help get that innovation going. But sometimes you have to change the pieces of wood to uh, flint or to a uh, PVDF material that forms a spark when you actually rub it together. So you got to think more complicated than the simple put kindling around if you really want it to work. But that's the way I look at universities, nurturing invention. So in the context of where I come from, or I don't think education has any relation to innovation at all. Uh, rather, sometimes it's a hindrance, maybe because education, and again, paraphrasing where I come from, is very structured, and innovation is never structured. If, if I had to think through my MBA degree about what I was doing, then I probably would have ran away the first, within the first two months. Or if I had to go through the business plan, VC mindset, the four years in and out, 10x, blah, blah, you would never start a company. So I think uh, education has a role, like, like you mentioned, later, but not as seeding the innovation. It's not critical to the innovation. It helps because you have more access to inf knowledge, you have more access to a network. Obviously, being in a university, you have professors, you have friends, you have, it's easier. You know the jargon that has to be spoken, right? I mean, uh, but, but I mean, so wh what we do in India is we set up these microgrids, and I'm printing my project in, and, uh, you know, shamelessly, but you set up these microgrids which are solar, and you electrify households, and you have prepaid metering, and people, most of the innovation is actually done by actually being there with the community, and the community participating in the innovation. Uh, it's a thought process. It's um, so, yeah. So education actually doesn't have any relevance. I think if you think of education very broadly, the education you get as a child growing up in your family, the your your grade school education, and so forth, um, people who are encouraged to be curious, um, to be fearless in the questions that they ask. Uh, who are encouraged to be output people and not just input people, as Len would say, those people are much more likely to be creative and innovative. Um, I think there is a certain amount of temperament, so there's a nature-nurture argument there, but certainly educational systems can kill that. We know that. Um, and I'm an optimist, so I would also say I think educational systems can, can nurture that. It's uh, somewhat well known that uh Basic science is not the, uh, the, the generator of invention. This is a little bit of what you're saying. Um, it's actually the other way around. A good example is how we use a steam engine. You know, the, the, thermal, the field of thermodynamics did not lead to the steam engine. The steam engine led to the field of thermodynamics. So quite often the basic uh, science comes after the invention. And I would, uh, I look back at my patents and I would say of my 115, probably the first 100 was not basic science. It was, it was tenacity and driving through uh, you know, thoughts. But the other 15 of them, I had to have the foundation of organic chemistry and cell biology to really understand what was happening. And I think that ratio is about right, about maybe 95% is, does not require the education or basic science, but, a five, about, a, but about 5% does. But I must also say that that 5% is my, are my favorite patents. <laughs> We're seeing now in educational structures from elementary school onwards, right? I was just at Queens last week and they have a master's in entrepreneurship and innovation where mm -hmm. they're trying to teach or encourage or nurture right. those instincts and those abilities, right? Although I, I would say that those instincts that they're trying to nurture mm -hmm. under this umbrella of innovation, those are really life skills. Right. I mean, they, they serve you well in whatever you do. Um, so again, it goes back to who becomes the innovator. Mm. Um, it's someone who has those life skills, but also has that spark.